Deliverance Prayer Spiritual Warfare Prayer Let's pray. I come in the name of the resurrected Jesus Christ, whose I am and whom I serve, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I affect and enforce God's original plan and purposes over and against the plans and purposes of Satan. I decree and declare that in this battle no intrinsic, internal or extrinsic, external weapon, be it emotional, financial, social, physical, psychological, interpersonal, spiritual or organisational, formed against me shall prosper. I place upon myself the full armour of light and of the Lord, the truth to cover my loins, the breastplate of righteousness to cover my heart and chest cavity, and the gospel of peace to cover my feet in Jesus' name. Father God, the shield of faith to defensively and offensively cover my body, the helmet of salvation to cover my head, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, shall cover me. Finally, the covering of the Lord Jesus Christ and a robe of righteousness is my portion. In Jesus' name, the glory of God is my reward. I decree and declare that the weapons of my warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. I pull down strongholds and cast down vain imaginations and every high thing that lifts itself against the knowledge of Jesus Christ. My thoughts are now subject to the Lordship of Christ. I speak that God's anointing destroys every yoke in my life and that my soul, spirit and body now function in order according to divine systems of protocol. I decree and declare that I am healed and spirit-filled Sickness and disease are far from me. I establish divine parameters, boundaries and borders, and legislate and establish the laws of the kingdom of heaven to govern all activities within. I overrule, disallow and veto every diabolical sanction, subverting activity, injunction, directive, mandate or order that opposes the will of the Lord concerning my life, my ministry and my family. In the name of Jesus, I nullify diabolical decisions and rulings concerning my ministry, my life, and the lives of my family members, friends, and associates. I take control over the airways, galaxies, systems, spheres, stratospheres, hemispheres, atmospheres, realms, regions, and domains. I disposes master spirits and employ Michael, other archangels, and the angelic host to handle any satanic contentions disputes, strivings and resistance concerning this injunction. I declare successful divine and angelic undertakings, undergirding, reinforcements and assistance. According to your word in Psalm 103, 20, angels now excel in strength. To marshland protect my personage, property and possessions. Jehovah Gibber, contend with those who contend with me, fight with those who fight against me. Take hold shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear and javelin and close up the way of those who pursue and persecute me. Clothe yourself in your garments of war. Muster your devices, gather your weaponry and ammunition from your divine arsenal. Make bright your arrows, gather your shields and let vengeance be your ultimate goal as you overthrow the chariots, horses and riders. Let terror strike the hearts of my enemies and cause their hearts to fail. I decree and declare that by you I run through troops and leap over walls. You are my God, the God who girds me with strength and makes my way perfect. It is you who makes my feet like hind's feet, giving me stability so that I am able to stand firmly and progress on the dangerous heights of testing and trouble. You set me securely upon my high places. You teach my hands to war and my fingers to fight, granting me supernatural strength and abilities so that my arms break a bow of steel. You are my rock, my shield, and my strong tower. You have equipped me with the shield of your salvation and your right hand establishes me as a victor in this battle. Beat down the enemy, give me his neck. Cause me to pursue and overtake them until they are wounded and consumed falling at my feet, never to rise again. Establish my name in the heavens, 
Let them who hear of me submit and obey me. I announce that it is you, Jesus, who have blessed me. It is you who empowers me. It is not by my might nor by my power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. For when the enemy shall come in like a flood, your spirit lifts up a standard against him. I forbid and disallow further opposing activities of any satanic personalities with diabolical assignments concerning my life, ministry and family, and I wage a war with them. I disapprove and prohibit any demonic interception and interference or resistance. I resist satanic contentions, intentions, provocations and negotiations concerning my life and my soul, and superimpose prophetic purpose and divine destiny over and against all activities and opposing forces that are contrary to the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning my life. I bind satanic harassment and rebuke satanic concentrations. I bring to a halt and prohibit all satanic surveillance. I lift false burdens and remove feelings of heaviness, oppression and depression. I cast them upon the Lord who sustains. I shall not be moved. I decree and declare that by the anointing, all covenants, contracts, chains, fetters, bondages, proclivities, and captivities that are contrary to, oppose, or hinder the fulfillment of God's original plan and purpose are broken. I am liberated from generational slash satanic slash demonic alliances, allegiances, soul ties, spirits of inheritance, and curses. I sever them by the sword of the Lord, the blood, and the spirit. I speak to my DNA and declare that I am free from any and all influences passed down from one generation to another, biologically, socially, emotionally, physiologically, psychologically, spiritually, or by any other channel unknown to me but known to God. I resist every spirit that acts as a gatekeeper or a doorkeeper to my soul, and I renounce any further conscious or unconscious alliance, association, allegiance, or covenant. I open myself to divine deliverance. Father, have your way now. Perfect those things concerning me. I decree and declare that a prayer shield, the anointing, firewalls, smoke screens, and a bloodline form hedges of protection around me and hide me from the scourge of the enemy, familiar spirits, and any and all demonic personalities, making it difficult, if not impossible, for them to effectively track or trace me in the realm of the Spirit. There shall be no perforations or penetrations to these hedges of protection. I release my name into the atmosphere and declare that prayer warriors, intercessors and prophetic watchmen are picking me up in the realm of the Spirit. I speak that they will not cease or come down from their watchtowers until their assignments have been completed. I decree and declare that they will conduct their intercessory assignments under the direction of the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ, who is my chief intercessor. I decree and declare that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, the Spirit of wisdom, understanding, divine counsel, supernatural might, knowledge, and of the utmost fear of Jehovah. As I advance, I am divinely empowered and increase in skill and understanding. I obliterate and annihilate satanic impressions, illusions, projections, perceptions, suggestions, suspicions and deceptions set up as a decoy or an ambush to my soul, and those assigned to pray with me, for me, on behalf of me, and those who work with me, are assigned to me and interact with me daily. I forcefully resist the wiles of the devil and prohibit the hijacking of divine thoughts, inspiration, revelation, insight, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding emanating from the throne room of my Heavenly Father, especially those who initiate, stimulate, sustain, and reinforce my kingdom authority in the earth realm and in the heavenlies, and who facilitate God's redemptive purpose. I put a halt to all distractive, disturbing, and destructive measures. For this reason was the Son of God made manifest that he would destroy the works of the enemy. I prevail against satanic inhibitions, prohibitions, and all limitations. I decree and declare that all invisible and invincible walls are destroyed. I execute divine judgment against satanic, demonic activities, and I war in the spirit of Elijah and Jehu. 
I disapprove, nullify, dismantle, cancel, and forcefully oppose any satanic operations, maneuvers, manipulations, subversions, strategies, tactics, plots, plans, and ploys that are designed to hinder, prevent, frustrate, foil, deny, or delay God's original plans and purposes from their quick, swift, and speedy manifestation, particularly in their correct time and season. I prohibit the alteration and changing of any time or laws concerning my life and ministry or the life of my family. I move synchronized and syncopated to the choreographic, symphonic, and orchestrated movements of God. I establish that if laws, statutes, codifications, bills, charters, and constitutions are changed, they are changed in my favor so that I may prosper in the place of my assignment and the land in which I am domiciled. I decree and declare that my times and seasons are in the hands of the Lord, and they shall not be altered or adjusted by anyone or anything. I function under the anointing of the sons of Issachar, and God gives me the divine ability to accurately discern my times and seasons. I decree and declare that the eyes of my spirit function with twenty twentieths vision for correct understanding and interpretation of divine movements. My ears are in tune with the correct frequency of the Spirit, and I have clear transmission. I decree that this day I operate according to God's divine timetable slash calendar. I decree that God's agenda is my agenda. I am not my own. I have been bought with a price. I therefore submit myself to Him alone. I declare that, like Jesus, I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me. Father, Overthrow the plans of troublemakers, scorners, scoffers, mockers, persecutors, and character assassins. Expose satanic representatives and grant unto me divine strategies and tactics to identify, resist, and overcome plots and plans established for my demise. Draw out your spear and stop them in their way. Let them be confounded and put to shame. Let them fall by their own counsels. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion. Let them be as chaff driven by the wind. Let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Let their way be through dark and slippery places, with the angel of the Lord pursuing and afflicting them. Let them be put to shame and dishonor who seek and require my life. Let them be turned back and confounded who plan my hurt. Let destruction come to them suddenly. Let them fall to their own destruction. Let destruction come upon them unaware. Let them stumble and fall into the very destruction they have contrived for me. Let them be wounded and destroyed by the very weapons they have devised for me. Let them be caught in the same net that they set for me. Let them fall in the very pit that they dug for me. Let them be hung by the very noose they constructed for me. Let them be burned in the very fire they have lit for me. Let them be consumed by the very beasts they have prepared for me. Strike them down in the very act of their mischief. Let their mischief be returned to them twofold. Pluck them out of their dwelling place. Root them out of the land of the living. Let evil slay them and desolation be their lot. Make them like a wheel turning in confusion. Make them as the stubble before the wind. Make them as wood burned by fire. Persecute them with your tempest cause fear and terror to grip their hearts. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. I employ the hosts of heaven to war against the hosts of darkness. Take command over, bring to a halt, and place a moratorium on further demonic movements and satanic activities emanating from the underworld and its six regions. Death, hell, Sheol, Hades, the grave, the pit, the abyss, the lower region of the pit regions of the sea, heavens, terrestrial, subterrestrial, and celestial domains. I superimpose the prophetic word over all abortive measures, strategies, and tactics of the enemy. I overrule and overthrow, according to Isaiah 54, 17 ill-spoken words, ill wishes, enchantments, divinations, spells, hexes, curses, witchcraft prayers, and every idle word spoken contrary to God's original plans and purposes. I reverse the curse associated with these utterances 
and decree and declare that they shall not stand, they shall not come to pass, they shall not take root, and their violent verbal dealings are returned to them twofold. I declare that every lying tongue is wrong and that truth prevails. Put a hook in their nostrils, bridle their lips, and hide me from the scourge of their tongues. I come against falsehoods, slander, speculation, accusation, misrepresentation, and character assassination. Father, cause the heavens to bow down with divine judgment. Cast forth lightning to scatter them, shoot out your arrows to destroy them, send your hand from above and rid me of them. I will lose no ground or territory through their undermining efforts or initiatives. I prohibit the accuser of the brethren from operating or influencing the soul or mind of anyone who comes into contact with me. I reverse the effect of any stigmas and declare that divine favor, grace, honor and well wishes now replace any and all negative feelings, perceptions and thoughts concerning myself, my family and the work slash ministry that I am called to accomplish. I decree and declare that nobility and greatness are my portion. Father, frustrate the signs of witches and warlocks who withstand the anointing as you did with Jannas and Jambres in the days of Moses. Confound the omens of the liars, astrologers, psychics, prognosticators, sorcerers, and the like. Make fools of diviners and make their dark knowledge foolishness. Rebuke and dismantle satanic alliances and arrest them by the Spirit. Let every covert and or clandestine effort and endeavor fail. Disappoint the devices that they have crafted so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Take them in their own crafty and devious ways. Let them meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. Lord, release divine viruses to invade satanic databases and command that they be consumed and destroyed. Let all future diabolical communications and networking fail. Any attempts shall only yield incoherency and misunderstandings. Send a spirit of confusion among them. Let their tongues be divided. Overrule and overthrow sabotage, subversions and setbacks. Let every attack of retaliation fail. Confirm the words of your servant in their midst and perform the counsel of your messengers. Send divine, angelic, prophetic assaults and maneuvers against diabolical intelligence. Arrest those who operate in the spirit of Jezebel or Belial. Let them not resist the anointing, usurp authority, or gain any ground in the natural or in the realm of the spirit. I prohibit satanic manifestations and speak that divine abortive measures and miscarriages occur in satanic wombs and incubators. Now, Father, you have given me a great work to accomplish. I war for the releasing of finances and all resources that belong to me, everything prepared for me before the foundation of the world that pertains to my life, ministry calling, and godliness comes to me now. I shall not, will not be denied. I shall not, will not accept substitutes. I call in resources from the north, south, east, and west. I decree and declare that every resource necessary for me to fulfill God's original plans and purposes comes to me without delay now. I decree and declare that the wealth of the wicked is no longer laying up for me, but is released now. Let those who hold on to my wealth longer than they should be afflicted and tormented without relief until they release what rightfully belongs to me. I command Satan to cough it up, spit it out, loose it, release it, and let it go. Jehovah Jireh, loose the loins of kings. In the name of Jesus, command that the two leaved gates be opened. Go before me and make the crooked places straight. Break in pieces the gates of brass and cut asunder the bars of iron. Grant unto me, according to your riches in glory, your tender mercies and immeasurable favor, the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. I declare that the Cyrus anointing flows unhindered and uncontaminated in my life. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, keepers of the gates, and be lifted up forever, you age-abiding doors, doorkeepers, that the King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord of hosts, may come in. I announce my awareness that cannot deny him access. 
therefore I will not and cannot be denied of what right fully belongs to me. I decree and declare the releasing of the forces of the Gentiles, the gold and silver from my prophetic Tarshish, and my prophetic Queen of Sheba, to come laden with every precious possession slash resource endowment fit for the sons and daughters of the King of Kings. I decree and declare that I shall suck the milk of the Gentiles at the breast of kings. I shall be enlarged as the abundance of the sea is converted unto me. The sons of strangers shall build up my walls, and their kings shall minister unto me. I decree and declare that my God has brought me into my wealthy place, and I dwell in my prophetic Goshen. I increase in substance and prosper in the land whereto I abide, and am sent as an ambassador of God. As his official representative, all diplomatic and aristocratic rights, privileges, respect and honour are extended to me. Grace, truth, goodness and mercy are my bodyguards. I decree and declare wisdom is my counsellor, the Holy Spirit is my consultant, Jesus Christ is my advocate. God El Elyon, my only judge, has declared, and I therefore establish, that my officers are peace, my exactors righteousness, my walls salvation, and my gates praise. I decree and declare that my set time of favour will not be frustrated. I release upon my life, ministry, the lives of every family member, associate and friend, the anointings of Jabez, Abraham, Melchizedek, Joseph, Jacob, Isaac, Solomon, Joshua, the Messiah, the sevenfold Edenic, and Uzziah for wealth and prosperity, so that God and God's name alone is glorified. In the name of Jesus, I am loaded daily with benefits. I come against the spirit of deprivation. The Lord prospers the work of my hands. By Him and through Him I accomplish great exploits. Again I reiterate, I shall not be denied. I declare success and progress in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that the kingdom of heaven rules and reigns. I send these words forth as Eurycliden winds in the realm of the Spirit to demolish and destroy the enemy's camps. Cause the four winds of the Spirit and of heaven to blow as destroying conquering winds. I decree and declare that this prayer and all future prayers take on the characteristics of divine projectiles in the realm of the Spirit and that they hit the bullseye. I decree that the laws that govern this prayer and all spiritual warfare strategies and tactics are binding by the Word, the Blood, and by the Spirit. I decree that every spirit released from their diabolical assignment now becomes a part of Jesus' footstool. I seal this prayer in Jesus of Nazareth's name. Amen.